Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Marktown, USA. Uh, man, it's been a while since I've uh, did anything, any videos, any reviews, or any walk-arounds. <clears throat> but uh, I guess it's been, uh, just had the time of my life and in this, uh, how should I say it, uh, just been going through some issues and stuff and uh, to make the story short, I just want to say that I, I feel great and uh, that I do a quick review on my next build I plan on doing, which is the F4C Phantom for Monogram, 148 scale, level 2. Unfortunately, my box is all beat up now because I have cats. And anytime I usually leave the box in the middle and I... Think I'm gonna start building and I end up leaving the box for a while here and they start using it as a place to lay down and stuff and then my box gets beaten up but as you can see it's been a while since I've touched my tools and stuff to build and what a shame but I thought uh, now is the day to, to begin so I know there's a few reviews already on on YouTube with this plane but I'm just gonna do my version of it and without further ado let me just uh, get into into the nitty-gritty lately I've been uh, well for a few years I've been flying uh, on War Thunder uh, if you guys don't know it's an on online game uh, from Gaijin and right now uh, I've been using the F4C Phantom and which is a great fighter to fly on realistic matches in the on War Thunder and Monogram's fairly cheap. I've always liked Monogram as I always mention in my videos. But I want I want to show you uh how these parts look great for being cheap. I love it. This is the fuselage. Both sides of the fuselage, you got two sparrow missiles and some looks like the the wheel flaps on there. Okay, the tail flaps. We got a I think it's that that's the gun pod. I usually use the gun pod on my F4, which is a great tool to have. Sadly, the F4C Phantom never uh, didn't come with a gun, which is the dumbest thing. The military ever did was take a gun away from a plane and you guys know you guys know the story of how, how that ended up uh the missiles were garbage and they are garbage <laughs> it's hard to even get a lock on war thunder these days uh with aim 9b missiles those missiles are just garbage and the sparrow missiles the first sparrow missiles that the f4 used are garbage too Aim9E missiles, the next step up, uh, they're pretty good. Uh, if if I get lucky. But other than that, it's a great fighter bomber. And I do plan on using uh, bombs on this and missiles, just like I use on my F4 Phantom on War Thunder. So, these are all the parts. The cockpit displays, part of the ejection seat. Four Aim9, AIM -9 missiles, nice. Right here we got the cockpit. That's the, probably the first thing I'm going to start building. And we got a, two pilots here. One uh, for inside the cockpit and the other for, for display outside of the plane. I have an extra uh, pilot that I'm going to have them sit down in the back seat. I don't know if I have. Yeah, here it is. This is from one of my other models that never got built i think this kit came off of of my f-111 that uh in one of my past videos of the F f-111 review it's a failed review because of what happened and i just took that apart and took all the parts and used it for uh for other things like the bombs and missiles and the pilot that's what i took from the other plane the f-111 Wings, uh, fuel tanks, uh, missile and bomb pylons. Let 
Got the two-piece canopy. And more uh, parts of the AIM-9 missiles. Missile pylons. And that's it. And this is just... Uh, I'm just going to turn the pages real quick on this F4. Uh, very basic. Just starts, that's what I'm going to be starting with. Uh, the pilots, the ejection seat, the cockpit displays and all that. Pretty easy build. And last but not least, the decals. The cockpit, uh, the 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 plane on this one is using the red stripes, but I plan on using the black stripes for. I just thought about that, and I go, I I think it'll look better with the black stripes. And I will paint it camouflage green. I've been getting a little bit more experience on on doing the. Uh, painting camouflage on my planes so that's it for this review you guys have a great day and uh don't forget to subscribe and like my page Got, we'll be uh, bringing more content uh in the future have a great day bye now